Today, we're going to cook a comet. For this recipe, you'll need one comet, as large as you can find. Make sure it's nicely layered with ice and various other frozen compounds. Set it on track to head past our sun, and slowly turn the heat up as it approaches. Cook the outer layer of the comet in the sun's radiation. The material on the comet's surface will go directly from solid to gas. We call this process sublimation. The process of sublimation will help transfer the sun's energy away from the comet's crust, keeping it cool. Sublimate the water ice into water vapor. This will release trapped dust to trail off the comet. Notice how the comet forms a tail. Add ultraviolet light to the dust. This will help make our comet bright. The more dust our comet has, the brighter it will appear. Allow the vapor to escape through the comet's crust. These jets may slightly jostle it or cause it to rotate. Your comet will not cook evenly. The side facing the sun will sublimate faster than the other side. Bring the comet closer to the sun and the tail will disappear. Materials are sublimating so quickly now, the vapors exist just long enough to appear on the surface. The sun's gravity will deform the comet into an oblong shape. Observe what materials continue to sublimate. This will give you clues about the comet's composition, density, and mass. Hopefully, your comet is strong enough not to fall apart. If it survives the sun's gravity and radiation, maybe one day it will visit us again.